you see all of these perfect bodies online. I'm going to the gym, I'm eating healthy, why do I not look like them? I like to go to the gym because it's fun for me and I don't want to have the feeling of I have to go to the gym. I love fitness but it's not my entire life. I still go out, I still have a pizza on the weekend. Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about how to make fitness more fun. Fitness can be so overwhelming, especially with social media and you see these extreme workouts and all of these different kind of workouts and then you have the strict diets and then you see all of these different kinds of bodies and they obviously look amazing, they're super fit, slim, muscly, whatever. You also never know if someone is edited, if someone has gotten surgery done. Uh, they are usually in a good life. Lighting. They are usually posed. I do this myself. I mean when I take pictures and I post them online I also want them in a good lighting and a pose so this is not in a judgy way I mean except for the edited and surgery part because I feel like you shouldn't edit your photos And you shouldn't get surgery and then claim that you got your body by working out But this is a whole other topic if you're like me and you compare yourself to people online You also feel bad about yourself because you're like I'm going to the gym. I'm eating healthy Why do I not look like them photos videos? whatever they are edited this happens way more than we think I also have to remind myself people can take edit substances to gain more muscle or to look leaner and obviously photos and stuff like that in videos they're taking usually pose they're taking a good light they're maybe taking in the morning when someone hasn't eaten yet they have a super flat stomach sometimes I even look at my photos where I'm post standing in a good light and I'm sitting there I just had a pizza or whatever and I'm super bloated and I'm like oh my gosh why do I not look like that so off topic but the realization that nobody looks like that 24 7 is something that I have to remind myself because I don't look 24 7 like I look in my own photos I personally don't follow any people that don't make me feel good I just don't follow them I don't look at it I'm like oh, I'm not sure if she got a BBL, so I'm, I'm not even gonna look at it. Long story short, you see all of these perfect bodies online and then you yourself go to the gym and eat healthy and then I, so I personally, I talk about my experience, I personally sometimes feel bad because I feel like I go to the gym, I eat healthy and I still do not look like that. That's when I also usually lose the fun about working out because then, it, then I feel like it becomes toxic that I'm like, maybe I need to work out more, maybe I need to have a more strict diet and then I don't have fun about going to the gym anymore and I also I want it to be fun you know I don't want it to be the super strict thing me personally if you wanna I don't know compete or anything this video is not for you this video is for the girlies that wanna go to the gym wanna be fit wanna be healthy do something for their body and still wanna make it fun how I keep it fun number one is I don't take my workouts too seriously anymore I always feel like I could do more exercises I feel like maybe I could have gone heavier maybe maybe my workout could have been better and then I'm super strict and hard on myself and I don't really get anything from that. What I like to do is I don't do extreme workouts anymore. I have like my four to five exercises that I do. That's more than enough. I'm usually in the gym for an hour, an hour and a half when I have a lot of time, usually about an hour. I like to push myself. I like to lift heavy. I like the challenge, don't get me wrong. But, but there will be days where you're tired. There will be days where you're on your period, you don't feel your best. You won't always have a good workout. Instead of beating myself up for not lifting the same weights, not having a good workout, I accept it. I'm like, okay, today wasn't a good workout. It's gonna be better next time. Or I cannot lift as heavy today. I'm just gonna do the weights that I can and still enjoy my workout and still have fun. I wanna listen to my music. I wanna enjoy my me time. I don't wanna be beating myself up and be super hard because I didn't have the best workout, you know? Because I'm someone who is usually very hard on myself and I feel like I don't get a lot of joy out of that. So I like to take the more relaxed approach when it comes to working out. Pushing myself hard, but not all the time. Like I have days where I'm like, I'm just gonna do my best. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be in the gym, okay? I'm just gonna get my workout done and it is what it is. Also when it comes to working out and having fun, I feel like um, you know when you go with another person or sometimes you know you meet people at the gym and then you talk and sometimes I was upset because I had like 
too many breaks or whatever. I mean in the morning I usually don't have time but if you go on the weekends or something like that maybe you want to take it a little bit slow and go with a friend and have a little bit of fun in your workout. The next thing is so big and that is to remind myself that I'm not competing and I don't do fitness as my job and my goal is not to be a fitness model. I want to do fitness content because I love it. I love fitness. It is so much fun for me but I do not strive to be a model or anything like that. I just want to go to the gym, move my body, be fit, feel good. You know, I don't have these extreme goals. Obviously, if you are competing, you're gonna have a very different workout. You're gonna have a very different diet. Everything is super, super strict and you need to follow that. And some people like that challenge. I personally don't. <laughs> I like to go to the gym because it's fun for me and I don't want to have the feeling of I have to go to the gym. I don't want to have the feeling of I have to eat super strict because I'm competing. I don't want it. I want to go to the gym, have fun, look cute, and I want to eat healthy in my way because for some people I'm sure that I don't eat the healthiest for me personally I eat healthy but I still have my pasta I still go out I still have a pizza on the weekend I still visit my grandma and have schnitzel there or whatever you know I'm not strict about my diet and I don't want to be I want this to be a lifestyle and for me for me personally that this all works is to have a very relaxed approach and remind myself of course other people are gonna be more shredded if they're competing also they don't look like that the entire year if people are super shredded they're usually not shredded all year around most people there are exceptions and if you want to have that you are probably working out and eating different if that's your goal it's not my goal I'd rather have a little bit more fat on my stomach or whatever it is and still enjoy my life and live my life and not stress about working out and food all the time. For example, now that summer comes around, I last year, I think last year, yeah, last year I was stressed about, you know, vacations and stuff like that because I wouldn't be working out and I wouldn't be eating super healthy. And now this summer I also have a lot of things planned and I'm like, you know what, I've been going to the gym all winter and this summer I'm not gonna stress about it. Um, if I don't make it to the gym four days a week, that's fine. If I skip a week, that's fine. If I don't eat healthy all the time, that's also fine because summer for me is a time where you have barbecues, where I go out with my friends, where I where I do stuff, where I drink maybe a little bit of alcohol and stuff like that. I'm more relaxed in summer. I feel like most people think that winter is more of the relaxing time, but for me it's not because I usually have like a cheat meal or something on the weekends and there's Christmas, yeah, but usually I eat more healthy. I mean, in summer I eat more salads and stuff like that, but I feel like in summer I do go out more. I do go out more, I do drink more. To sum it up, I don't want to stress myself about it because if I'm not super consistent in the gym, I love fitness, I love it so much, I love going to the gym, but it's not my entire life. I also have other things that I want to enjoy. Maybe also falling a little bit into that category is loving and accepting your own body, which I know is very hard because I have days where I really like how I look and then I have days where I absolutely hate how I look and I cry because <laughs> the way I look. So. It depends. I sometimes tend to compare myself to very skinny bodies, like very slim bodies. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, just once in my life, I want to look like that. I need to remind myself that no matter how hard I work out or how healthy I eat, I will never have this certain body type because I'm just not built like that. There was once a TikTok that I watched and this, it blew my mind and it made me feel so much better. And it was like when you compare humans to dogs, Husky or I don't know, a German Shepherd, like a very big dog, imagine a very big dog. No matter how much weight they're gonna lose, they're not, never gonna look like a Chihuahua. That made me realize I have a certain bone structure and I will never be that super slim skinny type. That's honestly fine because I just have more curves and I'm sure other people are jealous of that. What I want to say with that is, no matter how much weight I would lose, I would always have a certain bone structure and I'm just someone that is not naturally super slim and super skinny. I hope this made sense in any way, I don't know, but I just wanted to say to try to learn and love and accept your body and be your own body goals instead of comparing yourself to others because sometimes I look at very very slim skinny people and I'm like oh my gosh I just wish I would look like that for a day and then I look at other people that have more curves and I love how they look. I'm more on the curvy side so I need to accept it you know, because I wouldn't think of that person that is more curvy and be like, oh, why are you not slim? 
like that other girl. Never, never, never was it in my head when it comes to me. I do that, I do that. The lesson is to appreciate the beauty of others, but that doesn't mean that you have to look like them because you are your own person and you have your own unique look that others admire and you should also admire. So, how to make fitness more fun is also for me to have a cute gym outfit. The best thing for me is picking a cute gym outfit. This brings me so much joy. I love gym clothes. A cute water bottle, a cute gym bag, like little stuff like that makes me so so happy and that's why I love going to the gym because I like to make my aesthetic very cute and I, I, I just love it, okay? Wearing a cute gym outfit Fit, wearing a cute hairstyle and everything and making it aesthetic and so stuff like that is how the gym is more fun for me. Um, we touched on that earlier with the food. Also to make fitness more fun for me is to have a more relaxed approach when it comes to eating. So that means eating meals that I enjoy, I enjoy, not that others are eating. If you do not enjoy oats for your breakfast, for example, don't eat them. There are people that like to eat the same things over and over again. There are people that like to eat plain chicken and stuff like that. I'm not that person and I will never be, okay? If I'm having chicken with potatoes and veggies or rice, veggies, whatever, I'm gonna put a sauce on top. I also like to make my meals cute not super aesthetic. I feel like my meals are never very aesthetic like they are online. But I still like to make them cute. I like to make them colorful. I like to repeat meals. But I also love trying new meals. I love trying new recipes. This is such a big joy for me. I love watching food videos and I love trying new things. This is fun for me. I think the most important thing, no matter if it's working out or eating healthy, is to not take it too seriously. I like to have goals. Don't get me wrong. I love to work out, push myself. I love to eat healthy and be on track with my goals but I also want to have the fun approach. I'm not happy if I torture myself at the gym and I eat super clean and I don't go to events, I don't have cheat meals, pizza. I, I'm not happy in the long term because then I'm like so strict about it that it's, it's not fun anymore. This is what I like to do to make fitness more fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped in some way. Please subscribe and give the video a like if you enjoyed the video. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!